perhaps Nazareth's most famous church is the Basilica of Annunciation, which stands on the spot believed by the Roman Catholic Church to be where the angel Gabriel appeared before Mary and told her she would have a son who would be the Son of God. It commemorates the place where the angel Gabriel visited Mary and delivered the invitation for her to bear the Son of God. Located in the heart of Old Nazareth, it is built over the home of Virgin Mary and where she became miraculously pregnant by the Holy Spirit. This is a very important place in the city of Nazareth. It used to be a small village during the time of Jesus. One of those homes is very important because it is the place where Mama Mary stayed. The basilica is erected on the home of Mother Mary. Next door is the church dedicated to St. Joseph, the place where St. Joseph lived. So they are in the same neighborhood. Another important event in this place is that the Word became flesh and dwelt among us. The place of the reincarnation of God happened here. In the courtyard of the Basilica, around the walls of the upper church are colorful representations of the Virgin Mary in variety of materials donated by many countries including the Philippines. And in the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent from God unto a city of Galilee named Nazareth, to a virgin espoused to a man whose name was Joseph, of the house of David, and the virgin's name was Mary. And the angel came in unto her and said, Hail, thou that art highly favored, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. And when she saw him, she was troubled at his saying, and cast in her mind what manner of salutation this should be. And the angel said unto her, Fear not, Mary, for thou hast found favor with God. And behold, thou shalt receive, conceive in thy womb, and bring forth a son, and shalt call his name Jesus. He shall be great, and shall be called the Son of the Highest. And the Lord God shall give unto him the throne of his father David. Thy cousin Elizabeth, she had also conceived a son in her old age, and this is the sixth month with her, who was called Pharaoh. For with God nothing shall be impossible. And Mary said, Behold, the handmaid of the Lord be done to me according to your word. And the angel departed from her. The gospel. The entrance to the lower basilica is very impressive and invites you to prayer. The space has been deliberately designed to highlight the venerated grotto and the archaeological remains that attribute to the place of the Annunciation and the Incarnation of the Savior. The grotto is believed to be the remains of the original childhood home of Mama Mary. As earlier mentioned by our tour guide Sam, we are in the vicinity of Old Nazareth and underneath the place where we stood is the whole village during the first century at the time of Jesus. 
they found an ancient cave underground where it used to be the dwelling place of the Holy Family. It is very close to the house of Mama Mary, which later on became the dwelling place of the Holy Family where Jesus lived as a child. We were also within the vicinity of the synagogue of Nazareth where he was preaching. In front of the sacred grotto within the perimeter of the Byzantine church, the space for the liturgical celebration has been set up. After exploring the lower level, Sam brought us to the upper level where the modern church was built. Sam guided us to elevator to take us to the upper level. This massive two-story basilica in strikingly modern architectural style and colorfully decorated became the largest Christian church in the Middle East when it was completed in 1969. It contains two churches, the upper one being the parish church for Nazareth's Catholic community. In here, I cried because I shared moments of great elation hearing the voice of Mama Mary through our tour guide Arlette. I feel the presence of God that moved me into tears. Behind the main altar, which is one of the biggest in the world, a huge mosaic celebrates the one holy and apostolic church as instituted by Jesus and guarded by Peter and his successors. The Virgin Mary sits behind and to the right of Jesus who stands behind Saint Peter who holds the key to the kingdom of God and the Holy Spirit hover above all while the saints look on from below. Within walking distance from each other are the Church of the Annunciation and the Church of St. Joseph, the spouse of the Blessed Virgin Mary. The house of St. Joseph, where tradition holds that St. Joseph lived, worked, and where he brought the Holy Family after the return from Egypt. The Basilica of the Annunciation and the Church of St. Joseph sits in a complex of buildings operated by the Franciscans, who have been custodians of the Holy Land since the 13th century. So we found this ancient cave on the ground of uh, what used to be a dwelling of uh, a family. On one end is the huge, artistically modern two-story basilica with a towering concrete dome and art everywhere to see. On the other side of the complex, the Church of St. Joseph sits in its shadow, a small, austere, Romanist church. St. Joseph Church is a Franciscan Roman Catholic Church in the old city of Nazareth. It was built in 1914 over the remains of a much older church and over the carpentry workshop of the husband of the Virgin Mary. The lower level is an ancient cave which is the carpentry of Joseph 
and the house of the Holy Family. It is centered around the grotto and the remnants from the 2nd century Byzantine and Crusader eras can be seen around the grotto area. The church is an unpretentious building and stands very much in the shadow of the soaring cupola of the Church of Annunciation in the southern side. Just as Saint Joseph himself lived in the shadows of Jesus and Mary, 